financial markets are dropping. Three things to do this week. <laughs> Feel the pain yet? And all it took was the... <coughs> the <coughs> 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 to be the pin. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Tough week, huh? <laughs> yeah, just about every single U.S. market was way off their highs. I mean, the Dow Industrial Average, it was down over 8%. The NASDAQ, over 9%. Percent, S and P five hundred over ten percent. The Russell two thousand, <laughs> a good indicator of the actual U.S. market, down twelve percent. But you know, even commodities were hit hard. Oil was down fifteen percent at one point. Gold over seven percent. Platinum broke past nine percent. Silver over twelve percent. And palladium, it was over 12% as well. High flying rhodium, <laughs> it got spanked by over 15%. And even Bitcoin too, it touched 15%. <laughs> even the dollar was down 1.5% from its recent highs. This is what you call a bloodbath, folks. Red everywhere. <laughs> and it happened in a shorter period of time, six days to be exact, than ever in history. Ever. Now, I've been saying for a while, it, in fact, I think it was last Monday's video that I said that this was likely, okay? And, you know, by the way, oh, uh, for the viewers out there wondering if I pulled the trigger on those mining stocks, uh, nope. <laughs> Not almost, man. I almost did it, but you know, I was like watching what was going on. I went, eh, I think I'm gonna take advantage of what's happening and just just sit on the sidelines just for a little bit before I execute those trades. It's coming. I'm gonna do it, but not quite yet. Uh, so, so uh, this video is gonna drop uh, on Monday morning. Actually, I'm gonna do it before the markets open, hopefully, and and we'll see if it's a very black Monday too. So uh, silver and gold, they were hit. They were hit hard. They were, they were pulled down with this panic, and I strongly believe that it's temporary. And that brings me to the very first thing to do right now. And, uh, okay, fine. So before I say exactly what it is, I got to give you my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Please consult a professional financial advisor when you're doing investments. And uh, just don't do what Yankee says because I say it. So, okay, this is just for fun. Um, but I am going to tell you the first thing that I think you should do right now. And that is move some currency into money. Okay, guys, currency, money. Th this is real money. Okay, this, this is real money. This is real money, okay? And the real flight to safety, I think, is about to occur, okay? I think, I think when traders, investors, uh, pension fund managers, uh, hedge fund managers, uh, large investment houses, the media... Finally realize what we stackers and many billionaires have known for years now. This is financial protection, folks, right here. In my opinion, the recent uh, drop in silver and gold spot is a financial fire sale. Okay, it's the buy time. <laughs> if you haven't been buying up till now, now is a wonderful time to do it, okay? In the mid to long term, this stuff, cash, cash is trash. Really, I, I, I believe that. We have been in a uh, propped up, illusionary, uh, fake economy based on cheap currency and debt. The real economy is on life support. And it's been that way since the Fed capitulated after the last crisis. They, they sealed our fate with uh, ZERP, 
zero interest rate policy, and QE, quantitative easing. If you still think Yankees wrong, if you still think the economy is so strong, why did the Fed have to intervene in the repo markets? And don't tell me that wasn't QE, okay? It is. It, it, it's simply a distinction without a difference. All right, the Fed's buying short-term bonds instead of long-term bonds. Fine, I, I get it. But the Fed is still monetizing our debt faster than it did during the Great Recession. And don't tell me it, it's, it's, it's temporary either. We're not stupid, okay? So, so why did they do it? Why did they have to do it if it's so strong? Why, why, are, uh, why are corporate earnings down last year, even though the S&P 500 was up 30%? Why? Why are a third of Americans unable to make it from paycheck to paycheck? No, I, I didn't say are living paycheck to paycheck. I'm saying they're unable to live paycheck to paycheck. They run out of money. A third of our fellow Americans. Why are a quarter of American citizens paying half of their income on rent. That's insane. Why are car dealers so desperate to get sales that they are actually encouraging people to stop paying their car loans to default in order to have them roll the debt over into a bigger debt so they can buy another car? What, what, what wonderland are we living in here, guys? This is terrible. And I believe... And it's going to result in the dollar taking a bath soon, folks. All right, so, so, so Yankee, does that mean we shouldn't have cash? You got some there. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. In fact, that brings me to the second thing that I think you should do right now. And that is get cash. All right. What? Wait a minute, Yankee, you just said that cash is trash. No, I said cash is trash in the mid to long term. In the short term, okay, months, maybe a few years, cash is still king, okay? So if this... <coughs> Sorry. Gets worse, <laughs> we could be talking uh, bank ATMs emptying. Bank runs, bank holidays, shoot, even bank bail-ins, okay? I, I worked at a bank. You probably know this. You've heard me say that before. I've worked at a bank. I saw it from the inside. I spoke with the bank president. I saw the plans. I heard the anxiety. And it, that was just a local bank, not a huge investment bank, okay? I learned a lot working in that bank. So I'm going to tell you right now, starting today, Monday. If you haven't done this already, go to your bank and start withdrawing cash. Favor 20s over the Benjis. Okay, they're you know they're less uh, counterfeited. They're easier, uh, more liquid, easier to use, more trusted. Anyway, see, I, I really you know start with 20s. Okay, um, be aware of the limits for withdrawals. Most ATMs cap you out at I think um, 1,000 bucks a day. Uh, and if you go inside <laughs> to take out, you know, more than that, say $2,000 or more, they're likely going to give you the third degree. I don't know if people know this, but um, I think it was the Bank Secrecy Act or something like that back in, in uh, 1970. Uh, but anyways, that act stated that banks had to report any withdrawals and, and deposits for that matter, but, but any withdrawals over $10,000 to the IRS. Hmm. Nice, huh? That begins a process called a CTR, or a currency transaction uh, report. So within 15 days of taking 10 grand out of your bank or credit union, the feds find out. And, then, and that's not it either, okay? Financial institutions also have to file what's called a suspicious activity report, or a SAR for short, for any transactions of $2,000 or more if warning signs go off, okay? <laughs> if they become suspicious, all right? And, you know, warning signs, they can include people trying to use, you know, fake forms of identification. 
but it also can be when they think transactions, quote, serve no business or other legal purpose and for which available facts provide no reasonable explanation. <laughs> Whoa. So like I said, I mean, they're probably going to grill you for even two grand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's your money, right? <laughs> so if they do, if they, if they, you know, start questioning you, why? Just simply put on a pleasant smile on your face and say, I have some upcoming expenses I need to plan for. All right. They might ask you what kind of <laughs> expenses. Just, just say, you know, I have some expenses. So get savings. All right. And maybe even a portion of your checking out of the bank this week. Just do it gradually, okay? Yes, leave some in there for, you know, convenience of uh, week-to-week expenses. That's fine. But get the bulk of it out of there. My third thing to do right now is to stock up. Folks, you need a full pantry, all right? Whether it's because of this latest... <coughs> or a uh, uh, natural disaster or power grid disruption or, or whatever, okay? You are absolutely gambling with your well-being if you don't have enough on your shelves. Now, just don't have what you need for the coming week when it comes to food, all right? Get more. If you, if you subscribe to my channel, and, oh, and by the way, I think you should. <laughs> I really do. Thank you, and hit the bell too while you're at it. All right, if you subscribe to my channel, you know I'm a prepper. Okay, I personally have enough uh, family food for four months, six months with some rationing. Okay, and that's important. <laughs> Even the freaking federal government tells you to food prep. Uh, now, don't panic. Don't don't go crazy. All right. Don't don't you know, spend a fortune on uh, you know uh, long term nitrogen pack number ten cans like this. Um, right now, it's <laughs> the prices are crazy. Okay, it's we got a lot of demand going on. I'd wait. Okay, the time to to buy a bunch of this stuff was like last month or, or earlier. Okay, so no, don't don't get that right now. But just start putting more in your pantry, like you know, just regular stuff that you get: Quaker oats, um, cans. You know, get this. Put those on your shelf, all right? And, you know, just add like 10% to your weekly food budget for a while and start your prepping journey now, okay? Use this this latest economic backhand to the face as a wake-up call and start prepping responsibly. All right, and, and, you know, don't comment down below saying, oh, Yankee, I can't afford it. What are you talking about? Stock one can of soup a week if you have to. Get some food in your pantry that you don't need right away. I don't mean to be harsh, okay? I know there are people that are really struggling financially. I get it. But but you may need to hunker down at home if this... <coughs> <coughs> what the heck? Man. <clears throat> uh, if you're not feeling well. <laughs> or, uh, you know, if the supermarket shelves empty out, Okay. That's important. So those are the three things that I think you need to do right now. Because guys, this may be just the beginning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, it's, it's a wake up call for all of us. But uh, I do hope your day is a okay.